All right, so welcome back to Brick of It Reviews, the Omaha Bricks Stug, 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 my young Stug. Padawan. The Stug. The Stug number three, awesome G, assault gun, baby. Yes. So uh, this was the backbone of the Wormont. Apparently, the second most produced uh, German war machine thing. The second most produced armored vehicle. In the German Second only machine. to the SDKFZ 251. I had the Half SDKFZ track. right in one of those boxes. I don't feel like getting it. Well, Sorry. we're all packed up from coming back from Chantilly. Yes. It would be a royal pain. Yes. Um, and it was the second most produced fully tracked armored vehicle. Yes. In World War II by the Germans. Yeah. So how was the build of this? Uh, I didn't personally get to build this because Dave has been we building. We gotta stuff. like look at it. Well, I know, but how was the build? Just a generic, how was the build? Uh, it was good. Um, no problems? A few problems. Uh, what were they? Some of the directions were a little unclear to me, but I you know, I don't know how much of that is me not being the world's greatest builder. You probably would have figured built, it out like, on your own. You've built more sets than I have now at this point. I have? Probably. Um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, it was fine. Okay, well, you said you had to mod one part, but apparently we're leaving this out of the review. Oh, yeah, on the inside, but uh, yes, I did have to okay. fix something that wasn't quite right. But still, it's really, really cool, and we're going to get a close-up. All right, so this is it, the Stug 3. Awesome G. Assault awesome G. Um, from so OmahaBricks.com. In their the winter, winter Cambo yes. line. So yes. it's really cool. You get this... Uh, rotating and just like going on a Y axis, or is that the Z axis? You go up and down. I don't know. You're don't the remember. expert. I, I on think that. it's Z. I think it's the Z axis. Lots but I'm of not cool sure. features. I love the um, camouflage foliage there. Just the whole winter camouflage pattern I find very enticing. Uh, you've got some nice little things like an axe there. And Where'd you get the there, stickers? There's one over there. Uh, I got those from uh, Brick Mania. Okay. I just stuck them on there. Uh, probably that one there is in the wrong place. It probably should be there, but um, anyway, you get the yeah. idea. Um, there's some like, I think those are logs there, the engine there, the axe there, and then uh, of course logs over here on this side. Yes. If it'll come around to that point. And actually in the model there's another log underneath there, but I didn't have the part to attach the two, but I'll get to that. Okay. So a little bit about the history, which is actually kind of interesting. It's built on a Panzer III chassis, and it's modified somewhat. It doesn't have a turret, which makes it rather unique. No turret, and that allowed them to more cheaply produce the vehicle and also to mount a uh, heavier and more powerful gun. Uh, it also gave the, the tank a very low profile, mm -hmm. which made it easier to hide, conceal, and camouflage. And because it didn't have a traversable turret, it was basically used for a better use for defensive purposes um, due to the lack of, again, it didn't have a turret that could go back and forth. And initially it was designed to support infantry but as the war went on and as modifications were made it soon became a killer tank destroyer and it was used on all fronts it served as the backbone of the german defense between 1942 and 19 i'm sorry between 1943 and 1945 and it had more kills than all the panthers and tigers combined wow with uh, 20,000 kills in just 1944 there were several versions of the uh, of this assault gun made. The most common was the Ossif G, which is what's replicated here. There are about 8,423 built between 42 and 45. And finally, young Joshua, a crew of four, a driver, commander, gunner, and loader, 25 miles an hour top speed, 96 mile range, and 296 horsepower, which is a bit more than we have on our commercial grade zero turn mowers. Yes, so uh, this baby isn't really a baby, it's kind of a beast, you know? I mean, when you look at it, it's kind of a beautiful beast. It's perfectly sloped, uh, but it's just awesome, I mean. I look at it as like a linebacker. Just like, 
tough and what's a linebacker oh and football brah okay i don't play football don't care about football so i'm not i don't well, know linebackers were stuff. fast uh but they were built like tanks and this thing is just very uh built like a tank yeah yeah huh. unintended yeah Anyway, um, but uh, this guy, he's really cool. Now, I do have one glaring issue is that when you lift that up, you can see green well, in there. Yeah, I may need to mod that. In the original version, if I read the directions right, they had it set up where that gun didn't, up move, the green. didn't move up and down at oh. all. Uh, so I may have got that wrong, but I left out part of it so it would move up and down but we can fix the green in the trust inside. me there is green in there the camera didn't really there it goes it's picking it up we can it. fix it but uh that's one glaring issue but probably you can fix it with like just putting tan or gray in there you know there's well no again that, that that's my doing because the original the original plan if i read it right doesn't have that gun going up very much does the gun show. does the gun ever go up and the actual version i would think so yeah i mean All they'd right. have to be able to Anyway, other than that, there's no real issues with this. Obviously, you know, it's fragile because it's Legos, um, and you're building it at the scale, but I think it's fine. I think it's really nice. The um, other thing I changed is I put BrickLink track link, oh, I'm sorry, BrickMania track links on there. The original version called for two rows of the, single wide. of single wide. I had trouble getting those to line up. The double size Brickmania track links may be too large. I may uh, try and go with a one and a half size from, from Brickmania. But I love the tank. I love everything in the Omaha Bricks Winter Camo series. We've got uh, a couple more, and then we'll have all six mm -hmm. or seven of them. Yeah, and definitely do all reviews on them. Oh, yeah. So overall, what would you rate this model? I don't know, nine out of ten. I'd rate it an 8 because I kind of see the, the track links, but that's Dave's doing, so I don't know. They just seem a little bit big in my opinion. Yeah, I'm going to try the The other thing out. is when I pick this up, it's pretty beefy, but you can see it kind of sags with the track links, and I don't know how to fix that, and that's kind of a recurring, recurring theme on a lot of tanks. Um, the only other issue is, again, the turret with the green in there, but, uh, you know, on the actual model, it was built right. <laughs> maybe maybe it'd be a lot better so how much do you think the parts roughly worth this because I know that's gonna be a question in the comments I ordered three things from Omaha bricks at the same time the total bill was around I think a hundred and eighty bucks so that would be for this the assault gun a Panzer 4 which will be coming out next and then a, a, a just a regular gun so I would say maybe 80 bucks. 80 bucks, okay. Something in that neighborhood from Brickland. It might be more, it might be less, depending on when you do it, and yeah, a few things like that. But probably yeah. around $80 is kind of a general rule of thumb for Omaha Bricks builds. Yeah. And the winter camo line. And an equivalent, if you went to buy this from... Brick Manny would be 300 bucks easy. Yeah, or more. Yep. All right, so it's a beautiful model. Um, that's a Brick Mania winter guy I have stationed with him, but yeah. Anyway, really, really cool. Love the guy, and uh, I, I love the guy, but I love this guy too. So, really, really cool, and uh, happy to have it in my collection. All right, so that's going to conclude our review of the Brickman, uh, not Brickman, Omaha Bricks Stug Ossif G3 Assault Gun. Hedge. Yeah. Yes, it's really, really cool. I like it. It's a, just a dope-looking vehicle, and a, and a lot different from yep. some of the other tanks that you see because it doesn't have that turret mm -hmm. which makes it a cool thing to have in any mm -hmm. collection so i'm pretty excited about this whole winter camo line me too we've got as i mentioned we've got the uh, panzer IV, the field gun and omaha bricks just came out with a panther mm -hmm. so we got to order the uh, pieces for that and then we'll it have is. i think seven all together in winter camo probably yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot yeah what are we going to do after we do the winter camo stuff? Is well, back at Brickmania Digital Instructions, or is it going to be... Well, that's you know, that's an interesting question. I say all the above. Yeah. Brickmania probably. Digital, Brickmania Sets. Omaha. Omaha Sets. Well, you mean Omaha Instructions. In instructions, yes. Yeah. Because they have a, a bunch of really cool things. Yeah, we, and... we have too much stuff and not much money. 
Well, it's very sad. Yeah, but you know, we can't take it with us, right? Nope. Yeah, and, and this is an investment. Lego, putting money into Lego pieces and kits, honestly, is an investment. As I've said mm -hmm. before, I have friends that actually have money, and it is a known fact in the moneyed community that buying Lego is a great way to diversify your portfolio. We've maybe done so a little gets, bit more diversifying silver, than we should. Silver but, yeah. and gold, and uh, you know, stocks, bonds, all that kind of stuff, and, and Lego. Yeah. Never thought I'd say that in the same sentence. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see you guys on the next one. Um, and uh, be sure to like or dislike to be on. Just rate the video. Mhm. Mm Cause it counts the same thing as the YouTube algorithm. I learned that. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, so dislike a dislike is as good as a like. Mhm. Mm it's it's called engagement. That ain't right. Well, it's called engagement. If you get engagement, yeah. What are you talking about, Willis? It's called engagement. You would think they would weight likes more than dislikes. Mm, nope. No. So. Just like comments is engagement. Okay. Well. And just like watching to this point do, is not engagement. making a comment. Not making a comment theoretically is. <laughs> That's not engagement. engagement. It's not engagement. Well, you. You need you, to leave a comment. You looked. You looked at the video and you engaged by not engaging everyone's sacred right <laughs> to engage or not to engage joshua we'll that is the question one.